Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. <laughs> That's a nice touch, honey. But I ain't buying anything. Oh, all right. Let's try this again. Hi, Daddy. Makita. Wow. You really let this place go after Caroline died. I guess no more foster kids like me to clean up your crap either. You, you broke my friggin' wrist. Sit up, Gary. Try to pay attention, okay? I need to tell you what happened to me after I ran away. It starts off like you'd expect, and then it gets a little weird. Nikita. After I ran away, I got with a pretty bad crowd. Did a lot of drugs. Anything that made me forget about you. Nikita, baby, that was 10 years ago. It was 11. I'm 27 now. If you call me baby again, I'll break something else. They told me I killed a cop. I don't remember. I've tried to. I just turned 18, so they were able to charge me with murder one. I was sentenced to die by lethal injection. No friggin' way. Trust me. You'll want to save your no friggin' way for the next part, where my execution was faked by a secret unit of the government called Division. They told me they were giving me a second chance. They told me I'd be serving my country. They didn't tell me. They were training me to be an assassin. Probably telling some other girl the same thing right now. It was a year of training before my first mission, sort of like a, a military charm school. Everything to make me the best killer I could be, till I broke one of their rules. What rule? I fell in love. With a civilian. His name was Daniel. After three months together, all I wanted to do was be with him. Live a normal life. But Division couldn't have that. So they killed him, made it look like an accident. Why are you telling me all of this? You know why, Gary. They're still after me. And I know they've been keeping tabs on you in case I showed up. It's okay. I want them to know I'm here. I want you to tell them everything I just told you. I want to send them a message. It ends now.